Hey, good evening, Facebook Live. Thanks for tuning in. So, uh, you know what's crazy about this time of the year? When you get up early and start work, you start work in the dark and you go home in the dark. And at least, uh, you know, when it's middle of summer when I work till eight o'clock at night, there's still some daylight left, but that's all right. It's what happens when you're busy. I'm thankful for it, but I do miss seeing the sunshine. So, uh, hey, John, good evening to you. So the question of the day is, what are the closing costs? And I bet I get asked this daily, probably at least daily. And so... The question, what are the closing costs, is kind of a loaded question because there's buyer closing costs and there's seller closing costs. And that's that's the way it is with any transaction, any real estate transaction. And so I'm gonna go through each of them individually and I'm gonna start with the seller. So there's normal seller closing costs. And this is whether you use a real estate agent or, not, or you don't, but please use a real estate agent, it's important. And uh, so the first closing cost you're going to have is you're going to have title insurance. And what title insurance does is it guarantees the buyer has clear title. And you'd be amazed the things we find on title that that are a cloud on the title. It can be a lien from, uh, in one case we had one that was like 29 years old it was a three-year note, so it started in 1995, so do the math, 96, 97, 98, it should have been paid off, right? And it was, never cleared it off the title. So what if they wouldn't have had title insurance? This would have just floated along for another five years, 10 years, 50 years. So title insurance is good. You're gonna have that no matter what. It's based on the sales price. So for example, I just sent a net sheet out to someone that covers um, what the closing costs are. And on 130,000, it was, I believe, $680. I'm driving down the road and don't have it directly in front of me, so uh, um, don't 100% hold me to that, but it's based on the sales price, um, and it's a set fee. So um, you've got that fee. You've got a closing fee that's gonna run you about $300. Buyer and seller split that, so the buyer also pays a $300 closing fee. And then you're gonna have, if you have a mortgage on the property, you'll have what's called a reconveyance fee. And what that is, is that's a fee that your mortgage company charges to release the lien on the property. And so they'll release the lien, but you're gonna pay for it. And that's between 75 and $150, varies from mortgage company to mortgage company. And so that's, that's a fee that you're gonna have no matter what when you sell a house. And so those are kind of the, 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 the main required fees. The next one that you'll have on almost every offer if it's a residential home is a home warranty. You're going to pay for a home warranty. Um, I, I, I shouldn't say you're going to. You're likely going to be asked to pay for a home warranty. I see it on probably 95% of any offers that come across my desk now. It's just almost become standard and there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it gives a great protection to the buyer, relieves a seller of some things that might come up after closing. So it, 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 I used to be kind of against them, but I've, I've come around, I like them. I've seen how much stress they take off the buyer and the seller. And it's amazing how an appliance can get used to being used a certain way. I don't know how many times a furnace or a water heater that's been working fine three weeks after closing has a problem. It's like they get used to being used a certain way and then they're not and they take it personal. So you can count on that's about $500 is the is the platinum plan. That's what most people are asking for. Um, so you can count on that. And then another cost that you will have, of course, if you use a realtor, that's the commission. Typically on the Metzger team, we list at a 6%. Sometimes we negotiate if someone lists multiple properties, they're a repeat customer, um, there's someone that we've sold a home to and they're losing money, we'll negotiate on that. But typically it's gonna be 6%. And uh, so those are kind of the seller fees that you're gonna pay as a seller. And then the buyer has fees, and these are based on what lender you use. Different lenders have different fees, and you should always be comparing those fees because sometimes a lender, they can vary a thousand, two thousand dollars and that's a lot of money in anybody's lifetime. And uh, hey, Alicia, thanks for tuning in. Hope you find the information valuable. And uh, so the, the closing costs typically will run anywhere from 
um, three to five thousand dollars. Some of them are fixed. You know, an appraisal costs the same whether it's a thirty thousand dollar house or a three hundred thousand dollar house. So the percentage of your closing fees goes down the higher the sales price goes, right? Because it's some of them are a fixed rate. You know, an underwriting fee is five hundred dollars, whether it's a thirty thousand dollar sale or a three hundred thousand dollar sale. So some of those, but then like the origination fee that varies. It's a percentage of the listing uh, or the sales price rather. And so those vary. And oftentimes um, the buyers ask the seller to pay a percentage or all of the closing costs, which typical and as long as the offer is a reasonable offer, most sellers are willing to do it. You know, say the home's listed for a hundred thousand and you offer the seller 80,000 and ask them to pay 4,000 your closing fees and a $500 home warranty. Don't count on it. The seller's probably not going to go for that unless they are really desperate. Um, so, but if you, you know, they're asking a hundred thousand and you offer a hundred and two and ask for four thousand in closing and a home warranty, maybe they go for it. You know, some it just depends on the seller. It varies from case to case. Um, but the buyer's fees are separate. But oftentimes the seller gets asked to pay those. So that's kind of a um, rundown on closing fees. There's a whole lot more nuances and every offer is varied. Every lender is varied. Every mortgage is varied. So we look at it on a case by case basis. So if you need more details, give us a call, private message us. And now a little bit of market stats because anybody that watches my videos on a regular basis knows that I'm a total market nerd. Love statistics, love to follow the statistics um, because it lets us be ahead of the curve. If you don't follow the statistics, you don't know where the market's headed, where it's been, and where it's at currently. So we follow them on a daily basis. I'm combing through these things, looking at the statistics, sharing them with the team, educating them because we want to know the market. We want to know what's going on because then we can give good advice to buyers, good advice to sellers, tell them what's trending in the market. If your agent can't do that, Get out of the contract. Get with someone who can do that because that's important. And uh, Or don't even get into a contract with them. Make sure before you sign the contract that they know the market stats because they are important. You're going to make major life decisions based on what the market's doing. You don't want an agent that shrugs their shoulders and says, ah, I don't know. You want someone that's like, oh, well, let me tell you, in the last 10 days, there was 10 new listings that ranged from 125 to 404 or sorry 545,000. There was 12 properties that went under contract from 65,000 to 377,000. And there were 12 solds that ranged from 79,000 to 325,000. You want an agent that can tell you those stats. That is important stuff. And so yeah. Oh, by the way, those were the market stats for the last 10 days. So there was 10 new listings, 12 under contracts and 12 sold. It's very balanced market, still a shortage of inventory, um, which is a bummer for buyers, great for sellers, but interest rates are so good that man, you can't pass up buying or selling right now. Cause this has been by far the best market I've been in in the last two and a half decades of eating, sleeping, drinking, breathing real estate here in the castle country. So anyways, uh, I hope that was valuable to you about closing costs, um, that there's separate, that there's buyer closing costs and seller closing costs. And, uh, um, and they vary from offer to offer, but I gave you some generalized figures that you can kind of, uh, count on, um, and the market stats show a nice balanced market, even going into the fall, even in the midst of COVID. It's it's really uh, it's really been decent here in Carbon County. Hopefully that continues. We don't see any reason why it wouldn't. So that's great stuff. And uh, happy Monday to you. This was kind of a fun test to see what kind of uh, views I get in the evening versus in the morning. Um, I sure intended to do this today, but I was out of town for a couple of days up in Schofield. Um, that's a little chunk of paradise um, on earth up there and uh, off the grid, which is just another chunk of paradise. And so it took me a little while longer to get caught up. I was there at the office, literally, I'm just headed home now. Um, so pretty great um, that we're that busy. And gosh, just pulling up my street and I'll give a shout out to the School of Screams. 
Um, if you haven't been to the School of Screams and you like to get scared, it starts up here soon. And uh, I see the people there getting stuff ready, putting the last minute touches on things to scare you. And it, it's actually quite a bit of fun. Me and my wife usually help at it. We did it last year. We were just too darn tired and, and uh, man, you have to stay up till, you know, one in the morning to, to do it. And then you're so excited from the energy and adrenaline of scaring people that it takes you an hour to fall asleep. So we're like, nah, we're going to take a year off. So anyways, uh, pulling in my driveway. So I'm going to go have some dinner, say hello to my family, but happy Monday to you and stay safe and let us know if we can help you answer questions on the market, answer questions on closing costs, answer questions about your home, about the buying process. We're the experts here. We want to take care of you and answer those questions. We know the stats. So stay in touch with us and we'd love to educate you, share what we know. And thanks again for watching guys. Happy Monday to you.